Hello, and welcome to The Sims Medieval. I'm probably just going to end up saying medieval instead of medieval, because I know myself, and I know that's what's going to end up happening, but welcome to it. I'm going to hit the play button, and we're going to dive right in. Uh, this is going to be called Shade Coral. And our throne room, we can choose unfurnished or traditional. Let's furnish it. Let's furnish it ourselves. Let's do it up proper. Oh, we need a monarch. So here we can see our lovely medieval territory. We need a monarch. Ross Betts Yantha Sanford. We're gonna create a monarch. I mean, are you kidding me? Zebrel Ebratug El Bardoin Gukema Frenig I cannot distinguish it. Oh, oh, I'm peeking the mic. Hold on. Still a little bit hot. Hold on. I think my settings are wonky. Give me a moment, please. We're gonna try that. Yeah, yeah, now we're going to the, the red level, but we're not peaking, which is good. It's good when we're not peaking. Hi everyone, this is The Sims Medieval. We'll see if I cut out that first part or not when I do the YouTube archive. Sure. Uh, skin tall. There. Whoop, boop, whoop, boop. Yes, good. Traits. Well, here's the thing. This is a noble. Maybe this isn't August Mina, because August Mina is going to be a creative cook. I don't know if that, that's a good thing to have. Or that, personally. I think having an eloquent leader would be good. The hopeful orphan. Whale ate my parents is a heck of a thing. Just, you go through all this and then you have whale of a, whale ate my parents. Raven, welcome on in. 
I hope a whale did not eat your parents. Eloquent, friendly, bloodthirsty. Sometimes I just get a feeling in my gut, you know. Someday I'll watch Demona. Someday I will have access to a Netflix account and watch Demona. Perhaps. Hubris is tempting. It's good to know. Don't watch Nimona if you're sensitive to whales eating parrots. Oh, it's Jake. Hi, Jake. Yeah, we're going to go with Hubris. Powerful looks here today. Let's go with that. Oh, we can go this route also. I think we'll go with the silver crown. Yeah, we'll go with those eyebrows. I'm good with the face. I'm good with the face. Pirate garb. Ah. Ooh. 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 Ha. Ooh. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. We need a name. Meredith means. Queen Meredith means. It's on the proverbial board. Alyssa Napier. Megan Underwood. Lorelai Chauncey. Oh, I do like Lorelai Chauncey. Queen Lorelai Chauncey. I think so. Eloquent, friendly, full of hubris. Rytel, thanks for the resub. And it's... Rytel I, just subscribed. I did it again. Ah... but I appreciate the resub. I keep doing it where I add a new scene and uh, don't move it back. So let me see if I can... I mean, I can probably just show the... the cheat getting dunked. I just need to find it. I feel this is very important and that it should be done. Wait for it. Wait for it. I know where it is. I just need to pull it up. There it is. After all these years. A parade for the chord. I feel better now. All right. So we have our queen, Lady Lorelei. Makes 28 simoleons a day. I'm 
going to go for a nurture throne room. I mean, I think that is really good. I mean, the, the story of Jonah exists. And Pinocchio exists, I guess, is what is the common theme. Listen, based on some recent events, make sure you leave wheels alone isn't the worst advice. Give them their space. Don't get in a situation where you might cross paths and make a whale angry. I mean, that's pretty good right there. I think we've gotten pretty much all of it taken care of at this point, but maybe we'll do just a little bit more. Sure. Changing, changing up the color a little bit. Household inventory? Nothing. Okay. some rugs. 1100, my goodness. Hmm, that color though. Sure, sure. I think some fine sculptures and we'll call it done. Well, I was hoping they were going to be sort of the same size, so let's go. Here. And here. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Do I need to finish furnishing? Hold on. Hold on. Here. Quests. Yeah. Yeah. Quests. First steps. Need to hire a staff control, the burgeoning populace, and beat back the criminal element. The dust had finally settled on the construction of a grand throne room. The seeds of a glorious new kingdom had been planted, and soon a civilization would grow and cover the land for miles in all directions. The only thing Shade Coral needed now was a ruler, someone wise and powerful who could unite the people under the kingdom's cause. My throne room is finally complete. 
The builders have been working hard, and the fruits of their labors are evident. That's not bad. It's not bad. I need a more rug, honestly, but it's not bad. I should prepare to meet with Buildmaster Koi. A quick jaunt upstairs through the mirror should suffice. So The Sims Medieval, very different from the game it was built upon, which is The Sims 3. Um, a lot less customization, but also a lot more plot. Constructed plot. Mm -hmm. And so we mm -hmm. have that to contend with. We also have the moodlets. She currently has Van Winklism, which uh, means she's sleepy and she needs to get a physician to make her a tonic. Or it will eventually wear off, I believe. And she got new stuff, so she has a bit more focus to get her tasks done. Build Master Koi. You're Almond the Servant, and that's wonderful, but you're not who I need right now. Can write some royal documents. Builder Democritus. Democritus. Uh I'm gonna try and invite Buildmaster Koi and see if that works for us. Oh there you are. How do you how about we discuss the castle? Venton Gruneg. The throne room's all done, my lady. We'll need more resources to begin building the kingdom. Wood, stone, and supplies will cover it. I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while for the betterment of the kingdom. I should make my way to the forest and collect the necessary wood. Uh, what does it say I need to do? Patrol road to... No? Uh, not right now. Let's see. Go to the forest. We've got a silver so far in first steps. We're crushing it. Doesn't have the ability to gather from a rock. She can't gather anything from a rock. Ah, the forest. Much adventure awaits me here in these woods. The wildflowers here are especially beautiful. I should collect some. One never knows when wildflowers will come in handy. <laughs> the odds are medium for success. Eh, maybe I'll just end up crushing them. Only collected wild flowers, seeds, and moss. Blood moss, to be exact. There are all kinds of plants one can pick across the kingdom. I believe wizards, physicians, and spies use plants to make medicines and poisons. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Who is this? Well, well, the victim is come to visit my forest. You better hand over your money if you know what's good for you. A bandit dares to threaten the queen? My trusty sword can bring this brigand to justice. 
Think you could beat me? We'll see about that. Do a do a health smash. Do it again, do it. Oh, available in five minutes. You jerk. I think I'm winning this. I could be wrong, but I think I'm winning this. <laughs> he just keeps lying down. <laughs> Now lie down again. Your health is so low. Triumph! Bandits could really become a problem in Shade Coral, but a knight or spy could curb that. Now I can collect my wood in peace. Collect some wood in the forest. Boo -do -boo -do, boo -boo -boo -do -boo -boo. Just gonna walk off together. Hmm. Disappears to collect some wood. There was always adventure to be found in the forest. The wood was collected and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. Before I can finish, I need to walk over here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I defeated you in combat. See you late. Oh, we're going the same way? Oh. Hmm. This wood will be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder will also need stone. I can mine some in the cave by the graveyard. Right here. Go to location. Oh dear. Oh no. Ah, oh, my lady, can I have a word, please? It's about my work here. Um, ma'am, Lady Lorelei, maybe not. Maybe not right there. Maybe that's not the best place for you to be standing. Maybe, maybe that's bad. Well, my lady, I was wondering if you would consider building a church here in the kingdom. It seems unceremonious. Unceremonious. To bury these people without a proper rot from a Jacobin or Peterin priest. Thank you, my lady. Oh, they're not dead. They're just, they're just, um, hanging out? I'm sure it's fine. He's having a little nappy nap. Lorelai collected stones while venturing deep into the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, she climbed down a sheer drop into a dark abyss. At the bottom, Lorelai reached an underground lake. She stumbled over a small chest, sitting in a puddle. What should Lorelai do? There's no problem with opening a chest in a mysterious cave. I got 125 simoleons for it. It paid to be adventurous. The village shoppy next. Oh. 
I need to wait for it to actually tell me to go to the village shoppy before it'll... Path to village is over here. Yeah, just some little tiny mimics. The village shoppy sells plenty of things. Ingredients for cooking, armor, ingredients for armor, ingredients for weapons, and ingredients for many other useful things. Plus, the stock is always changing. Oh, excuse me, they're not simoleons, they're simoles. Go to the village shoppy, please. Is there just supplies? Is there supplies that I can buy? I can get some bear hide armor. Now, this is some great stuff. I can get a sturdy loot with a melodic tone. Only a hundred for some plate mail? The weight is significant, but still. Still. What did I need? You don't have to buy anything. A svelte lady approaches Lorelei. Approached Lorelei, then bowed. I have heard word of your arrival, and in your honor, I have prepared two gifts as you build your kingdom. However, I shall only give you one of them. The gift you receive depends on your answer to this question. What virtue would you rather bring to Shade Coral? Safety or power? Um... Friendly, eloquent, and hubris. I'm going to say because of friendly, we're going to go safety. The monarch's armor of fortitude. Very good, very good, your highness. You are wise indeed. Then I present you with a gift of resilience, the monarch's armor of fortitude. It is not the best armor, but let it symbolize something that I didn't finish reading. Queen, Queen, help, please. Uh, check safety? Yaba Mislo. Urvet Kwalik. There's a woman in the town square. She pushed me into the mud and called me names. This can't happen in Shade Coral. I mean, while we're here. Bokev Karem. Listen. Shabrit Yamone. Viola. Landrum Quasim. Oh. From the Queen. From the Queen, and you said no. Gutsy. That must be her. I will not accept bullying in Shade Coral. Sometime in the stocks will teach her this this bully to think before she acts. What? I was just messing around. Hey. Ah, it's good to be queen. Everyone has their own ways of going about these problems, though. I wonder how a wizard or physician would have handled that bully. The sim is being arrested. You're not allowed to flir flirt with someone who's being arrested. Oh. 
Shim Oselpa Quo Dave. That's fair. Now to shame the bully. That'll make her think twice before messing with my townspeople. Throw egg. Throw egg. How'd she end up over there? I'll just get in myself. Don't worry about it. Seems like a waste of an egg, but Oh, I hope my aim is good and true here. Milady, thank you for responding to my plea for help. For your great kindness, I pledge to be your loyal servant from this day forward. I will await you in your throne room. You were there earlier. I saw you. This isn't like a new thing. That's quite <sighs> Your insults are actually super hilarious, I must say. Roslyn is vain? I never would have guessed. Not the town bully. I, a traveling merchant, bring many luscious and succulent goods for your perusal. Please approach me for my for the most consummate service of my trade. Not to risk modest discourse, but the sight of a practice bard is not only the melodious poetry of his the sign of a practice bard is not only the melodious poetry of his musical compositions, but also stalwart physique from his commitment to his craft. I do believe I see a visitor who catches my eye. It's Wolf the Surf. No. I will woo Trader Rosalinda, the beautiful and elegant merchant. This is a normal place for me to stand. Ugh, ugh. Get out of here. I could send to the stocks. That would be kind of funny. Oh, good, it succeeded. Rosalinda thinks Lorelai is being flirty. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. 
Here, it's a different flower I found. Why, thank you. I have traded many flowers in my lifetime, but none as beautiful as this. You are a most kind and most enticing queen. Hey, Bill Master Koi, here's these resources I found. These look great, Your Grace. Give me some time to take inventory, and I'll make sure we have enough resources for the next building you wish for. Are y'all are y'all good? Pass an edict, ask two citizens about like your shape. Look at that. I have finished a responsibility. I'm going to get some food. Just do a little bit of whittling while I wait for my food. Why do I have to walk all the way over here to do some Whitland? I don't know. Oh, I need to sit down. Oh, my delicious meal. Oh, dear. Just left so courteously sitting on the floor there. Bare hand, just scoop it right up. Life really was better back when you were just scooping glop out of a bowl. Well, Rosalind is just like, uh, again. Uh, pass an edict? Let's propose an edict. Y'all? <laughs> Y'all? Establish a... I don't like either of these. Establish a tax on craftspeople such that merchants and traders will make larger profits. Send excess dung from Treedney to Craftle because that place smells bad already. Of the two, I'm going to go with this one. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't read it correctly. You know what? I'm fine with that. It made the village like me more. That's fine. Where'd she go? There'd she go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
sending this off at the messenger post will guarantee me an advisor in no time. I expect my new advisor should show up soon. Once he arrives, I will ask him for his first piece of advice for the kingdom. That was quick. Upsettingly quick. Oh, he's really good at walking, though. Look how good he is at walking. Orbu Ven! Orbu Ven. You know? Just like Orbu Ven. <laughs> Milady, to be honest, this throne room is a bit lacking. You need to furnish it better if you're going to impress any foreign leaders or professionals. You'll need simuls to purchase items, so I'm adding them to your fund. Usually, you will make simuls each day from taxes or by selling resources that you collect. It's time, in the midst of all these, in front of the consort Lenoda. Concert Lenorda, Lenoda is all for it. There we go. Now I've done the most important part. Buy something in the throne room. Uh, this is going to be very important. Just a, a nice bed in the middle of... No. Um, some seating would be good, though. Much better, milady. I would even suggest an official proclamation that the throne room is open to diplomats from foreign lands. Quatev Nevik! It's not a bad idea to consider opening more relations with our neighboring nations. I should take a peek at the tactical map before I continue to expand my own kingdom. <laughs> Both of them are loyal to me. How convenient. As Shade Coral, as shade coral expands, so will the number of territories I can explore. Speaking of expanding, I wonder if Buildmaster Koi has finished taking inventory of the resources. Also, while I'm at it... I like that everyone's just like, yeah, okay, sure. Keep going, Queen. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Time to go deal with some kingdom business, cause... Don't want to focus on that right now. Got rejected. There are enough resources here, and the builders are all ready. Only one question remains, my lady. What will you build, Highness? 
quest completed at silver level. Okay. That's fine. Can strategize and pass edicts at the tactical map. Can hold court on the throne. Restful dance, combat tone unlocked. Fighting proficiency slightly increased. Let's see. Could do a monastery. Could do a barracks. Could do a wizard's tower. Could do a clinic. Smithy, market, tavern. A lot of choices. You know what? I don't want to have to deal with the sickness anymore, so we're going to build a clinic. We're going to build it furnished, because that's just easier. The clinic is a building devoted to healing and the pursuit of worldly science. If you have a cold, a wound suffered on the field of battle, or the plague, this is the place to go. Just be mindful of the leeches, rather sensitive fellows they are. We need a new physician. Create a physician. Imza. Actually, let's go with that. Lilaeus Grossman. I like Lilaeus. Dana Dooley. Gertrude Spurlock. What about Lilaeus Spurlock? What about Lilaeus Fogel? What about Lilaeus Weeks? Vivian Bowen. Now, I do already have a Lorelei, so I don't want another L name now that I think about it. Vivian Bowen. Yeah. Earthy. Yeah. I would trust a medicine, uh, a poultice from a Vivian. I'm going to say scholarly. Earthy and scholarly. Uh, a little bit cowardly. Or... Drunkard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember this color picker now. That's too much. Now I need that the outfit to fit with it. I'm... 
I sort of kind of know why we didn't get a color wheel in The Sims 4. There, it wasn't a good reason, ultimately. Part of it may have been, like, performance issues, and part of it may have been we want to sell more DLC. The first one is sort of understandable, but I think fixable. The second one is, eh. EA. EA. Not too fancy. But that might be it. That might be it. Make this more purpley. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. The face is good. I'm not going to worry about the face. And I already said I was furnished, so I don't need to worry about that. And then we go to quests. scrolling through these real quick. I think the Mirthful Love Doctor. We just got our our Love Doctor, so let's... Or our Doctor, at least. Part of requirements. We need a physician. Spread love, mend hearts, and rekindle old flames. Love was in the air of Shade Coral. Or was it? An interesting challenge lay ahead of Bloodletter Vivian, who unwittingly went about her daily routine reviewing case files. Did she now? Archives. Crafting table, operating table. It's not archives. Is this archives? Review case files. I figured it out. Does she have a bed? Yes, okay. Hey, Valentina. Oh, oh. Hmm, I should write a note about. I should write a note to myself about this. Then I can begin treating patients. Uh, mm. Hmm. This hmm. Hmm. It's a lengthy note. Huh? A... Note to self: Next time someone gets a boot stuck on their head, untie it before attempting to saw through. It may just come off. Sure, if you're going to be that way about it. Now, time to see some patients. What seems to be the problem? I got out of bed this... I got out of bed and threw up this morning. Now my stomach hurts. Am I going to die? Time yet? <laughs> Mm, inconclusive. I'm going to give you something, then I'd like you to tell me how you feel. Jamie? Let the dough. Oh. Now I'm suddenly starving for cold mut mutton. Well? Well, these are my choices, huh? She woke up vomiting. She has a craving for cold mutton. Blood letter Vivian has seen her vitals and other symptoms. The diagnosis is clear. I mean, she's pregnant. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
May I ask a serious question? What is your question? Valentina sat down and began to relate her story to Blood Letter Vivian. I'm not married, she said. In fact, I don't like this baby's father. He doesn't respect me. But it's improper to have a baby like this. Should I marry him even though I don't like him? I don't know if I'm qualified to answer that. What should I tell her? I mean, I mean, marrying someone she doesn't like would be a mistake. Yeah, either two lives or zero. Sort of medieval life. <laughs> this might get me in trouble, but this is what I believe. This is what Bloodletter Vivian believes. No, don't marry him. Oh, thank you. I'm going to recommend you to all my friends. Hey, bud, it's like 3 a.m. What do you need? Hi, I'm Vince. I saw you help Valentina, the patient. I may be crazy to trust you, but here goes. I broke up with someone I really loved. Vince shuts his eyes and lets a storm of feeling escape amidst sobs. Tell me, Vivian, will I ever get over her? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get over it. You really think so? What should I do now? Invite down to the ocean. Oh. Well, first I'm going to go to sleep because it is uh, past my bedtime. Don't you worry. I'll be down at the ocean real soon. Don't worry. You don't see me? Don't worry. I'm sure I'll be there soon. I'm sure it'll be just a moment. Vivian needs a drink. Badly. Craft and deliver two citrus infusions. Give first aid to two people. Uh, gonna make a girl. Here's some first aid. Hey, Austin, the patient. Here's some first aid. Where do I make a... I need some citrus fruit. Where do I get a citrus fruit? Not from there. Probably not from here, but I'm going to guess these are going to be good ingredients to have. You're right, Vivian. I can feel the pain washing away. Find a shell. Oh. Ugh, crabs. Here's a huge shell for you. 
Return to clinic. Bye, Vince. How special. You really helped me. More than you know, Vivian. Ugh. Suddenly I don't feel well myself. I should scrutinize my appearance in a mirror. Do I have a mirror? I may have to purchase a mirror. Where are we putting mirrors? Decor? Decor. I look okay, but I still don't feel well. Maybe it will blow over. I should see my next patient. What seems to be the problem? Anyone who kisses me won't ever kiss me again. Can you help? It's okay if we have to kiss. Valentina recommended you. Kiss scientifically. Yeah, no. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> hmm, like kissing a llama. I need to decide what the actual problem was. Um, bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> you have putrid breath. Putrid. Bad breath, but when I cut my hand over my mouth and nose, I can't smell it. C can you help? What do I need for mouthwash? I've got it. I have the necessary bits and bobbles. Oh no! Take two, try again, try again. Yeah! Yeah! If at first you don't succeed, try to make mouthwash again. Hey, I feel so fresh now, like I swallowed a mint-flavored iceberg. Can we try kissing again? Kiss while assessing breath. It worked. You are a pleasure to kiss, Austin. No, thank you so much, Blood Letter Vivian. I'll recommend you to everyone. Hey, Vince. Draven Yagrin. It's all right. I got over her, but I've fallen for someone else. Someone uh. smart, cute, and caring. But how should I break the news? Uh. I feel like I'm going to have to be more involved if I say creative. I feel like Vince is not innately a creative spark. So we're going to say, just be straightforward. I should just tell her? Okay, can I try? I love you. Hmm, I don't think that'll work. I'm going to be creative and said, wish me luck with the hug. Fine. You're the best, Vivian. I'm off to get creative now. Vince, I swear, if it's me... If it's me... Vivian? Gosh, I feel ill again. Why do I feel this way? There's nothing wrong with me. 
Hi, Janelle. Hmm. Well, Help! I was trying on cute chastity belts at the market, and this one got stuck. Its key was missing, and I'm getting married in just a few days. I hear you can help with problems like this, please. Scholarly, earthy, drunkard. Force it off, obviously. There's no time to waste. Let's tear it off. Well? Well? Bloodletter Vivian and Janelle the patient tried a variety of approaches to remove the chastity belt. They tried smashing it off with hammers. They tried tearing it off with a rack. They tried jamming a sharp sword in the keyhole. Well? Nothing worked. The chastity belt holds strong. It protects his prize with strength and honor. I shall craft a key. Time to go to the village for a key. Note to self, don't make a drunkard before you have a uh, tavern. I'm just going to fail that. I'm certainly getting a lot of patients that want help with their love problems recently. I wonder if I'm getting in over my head over all this. Here we are. Just pick up some metal scraps for my pal, Scrappy. These scraps will do nicely. These scraps will do Scrappy. Next, I need to collect some acid ants from the depths of the cave so I can use their acid to form the key. I should have brought a lantern. It's hard to see in here. I think I found some ants. Oh, yuck, these are just some moldy goblin eggs. Wow, got some acid ants. You can hear them sizzling. Now I just need to go craft a key for the chastity belt. Uh, after eating and sleeping. I could make some seed forage. And we'll make some gruel right now. And we'll go to sleep. Your dream started out with you in the tavern having a beverage. You called out for some music to liven the evening. Oddly enough, two famous bards appeared and started singing simultaneously. One, wordsmith Andy Island, sang a bawdy and comically ironic tale of crude lust. The other, crooner Bikale Moulton, sang a raucous ballad of pirate adventure. Both troubadours refused to quit. You'd have to choose the song. I'm going to say Michael, I mean, Bikale Moulton. Oddly enough, rather than focus on a single song, multiple additional themes intruded into your dream. One would think that a dream featuring woohoo, pirates, cute scribes, highwaymen, and chocolate would be fun, but in practice it just got confusing. 
Perhaps you shouldn't have eaten that extra ser serving of gruel yesterday. Seed porridge, porridge made of seeds. No, I want, I want you, I want you to eat it. I want you to eat it, please. Thank you. Hello, caretaker Ted. Let's see. Let's see. Craft a chastity key belt. I have the key. Vivian handed the key to Janelle. She inserted it into the lock and turned it. It unlocked. Oh, you got it off me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, you can keep it. Now I've got to go get married. Well, um... You, you look very nice. Thanks? Your beauty is unparalleled. I, I know. Uh, I'm about to get married and... Okay. Kiki, welcome on in. Kiki the Witching Bat. We're, uh... We're having a heck of a time here. Playing The Sims Medieval. What's my next thing? Ask the next patient, Phoebe. What seems to be the problem? Zelpasifame. I've heard you're the best, Bloodletter Vivian. My husband won't stop ogling other women. What should I do? Uh. <laughs> Not the first one. I don't need this chastity belt anymore. Phoebe can threaten to wear it if her husband keeps ogling other women. Ah, How do you come up with such ingenious ideas? This is perfect, thanks. Oh, I need to go visit Vince? Okay. Well, what were you doing up in my room, Vince? Oh. Hey, Vince? Yeah, no. Hey, Vince? Hi, Vivian. Uh, my, my crush? <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, anyway, I saw a message in a bottle at the beach. It had hearts all over it, so it seemed like it was your thing. See you around. Let's go check out this bottle at the beach. Surely it's not from Vince to me. Ah, here it is, right here, but I can't read it. It has some kind of cipher. I'll worry about this later. Collect my plans. Research symptoms. Fifty-three minutes. You got it. You got it. Keep going, Vivian. There we go. I guess just go to sleep. Ugh, I still feel ill. Perhaps I can find something if I research my strange symptoms at my archives. Just 
get up. Yeah, the sleep cycle is going to be busted anyway, but. I can't find anything. Well, at least I should. If At least if I solve one more love case, Shakor will be the happiest place ever. How's the kissing, Austin? Been great. Lots of kissing. I'm actually married now in like two days. And we're trying to have a baby. That's why I've come to talk to you, actually. I'll do a little first date. <laughs> no matter how much we kiss, the stork won't drop off a baby for us. What are we doing wrong? Ah, <sighs> why is this my job? Well, I guess this is the physician. Warin, Wobra, Projexus. Aline, listen in a certain amount of detail, but maybe not too much. Well, no, 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 I won't. Tarosin Scherza. Uh, I understand. Anyway, you know that enciphered message you have? I'm good at that stuff if you want me to translate it. There you go, the deciphered note. Thanks for everything. Bye. Oh, it's in my inventory. Meet me by the forest. I told you to just be honest, and you're like, no, I can't do that. Thanks to your advice, I found you, Vivian. I hope the message in the bottle was creative enough. Do you like me too? No. No, I don't. I want your friendship. <laughs> Yeah, and so Bloodletter <clears throat> blood Vivian not only aided lovers and saved many a relationship in Shady Coral, but she also learned about feelings coming from deep within herself. A lovely success. As the renown of Shade Coral grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. Before long... Shade Coral found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house ever increasing the ever increasing flow of visiting foreign dignitaries. So with a flurry of activity and peasant groaning, the grand reception hall was finally unveiled. Oh, let's go furnish it real quick. That's fine. It's fine. Okay, wizard Tower. Smithy. It's gotta be Tavern. It's gotta be Tavern. The tavern plays host to the favorite adult recreation of the kingdom, drinking. Hard times call for hard drinks and rousing entertainment, whether it be melodious music from a lute or the clever comedy from the stage. Yabrell. 
problem. Go Kema, Frelig. Read it, cook. What else is this bard? An adventurous bard? An adventurous bard? Could do it. Could do it. I mean, eloquent would make sense for a bard. Excited. Excitable, excuse me. There's probably a whole meta for each of these uh, professions. I'm not going to worry about that. Not an insomniac. Licentious? Guild enemy. Glutton? Let's go glutton. Hungy. Let's change that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, oh, actually. Let me drop that a bit. I think so. Yeah. Adria Harmon, Ashlyn McMahon, Diane Torteval, Leanne Pelletier, Selena Pagan or Pagan, Neva Boyer, Caroline Qualls, Caroline Qualls. Assassination? The witch. The witch is back. Let's do, let's do the genie. Let's do the genie quest. Oh, what would we need to free the genie? A wizard. Okay. Monarch marry the witch? Is that a possibility? After getting rejected earlier, I think Lady Lorelei. Last night I had a dream. A being of powerful magics came into Shade Coral and changed it forever. Strong, brave, and attractive in every way imaginable. This dream has to mean something. I dreamt of a powerful and beautiful witch. I have not visited our town square recently. I should stroll through and see how the commoners fare. 
play awesome. Strange. It seems as though there was an, some kind of altercation here recently. Maybe someone nearby knows what occurred. Someone nearby at 11.35 p.m. All these nearby folks. Oh, let's try at the... Uh, Theodora. Theodora, did you see what was going on? This is shocking. A group of villagers had a witch dragged off to the stocks. Of course, the townsfolk can be a bit superstitious, and the constable is no better. I will speak with the accused myself and find the truth. Look at this. Is this the way we treat our prisoners? I mean, it is, but I feel the need to intervene this time. Hey, cut it out. Get out of here, harasser A and harasser B. Truth is a product of trust. I will release the woman before I can properly ask what happened. Celeste! Meshrup, is she clumsy. I was merely seeking safety within the city walls. But the villagers caught me conjuring a small fire for warmth. They surrounded me and... Yes, if you will have my company, I will gladly accept. Now my guess is I can get to know each other a little more. I wonder why Celeste thinks Lorelai is being flirty. It's a great mystery. Lorelai, you good? Mm -hmm. Just queue up a bunch. Just queue up a bunch. She is delightful. I should think of something fun for us to do together. Something to help us get more acquainted. Oh, she's having fun. Ah, uh, she's so beautiful. I shall charm this witch. Can't socialize while sleeping. Why not? Oh, right, that, that does make sense from the whole being unconscious thing. Hey, Bloodletter Vivian.
go. Call for a food. Just set it right down on the floor. Very normal, very good, and very normal. There we go. Read the War Crimes docket. Where's the War Crimes docket for me to read? Well, I can ask you about living in Shea Coral. I have never known such grace and beauty in a woman. A woman like this deserves the best. I will take her on a romantic tour of our city. We'll go to the forest. Trees are romantic. There she is. Oh, she turned around. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. And now that we're here, I will collect some lovely flowers. Hey, Damaris, how's it going? We're just having a nice private time, definitely here in the woods. You good, Albin? Poison? Poison, Damaris? He keeps resetting the conversation status to just listening, which is not helping me get up to the romantic smooching. Can we? Nope, can't do that. Uh, challenge to a duel. No. Nope. What about... I mean, I, I kind of fear that if I start hanging out up here, they're just going to follow me up here, but 
That's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah, of course they did. Of course they did. As soon as I put something in here, three people go up there. Immediate. And where did... Tell it again. Celeste, Celeste, please. Please, I don't know what I did wrong, but please. We're already starting at flirty, so this is a good start. We're at very alluring. Come on. Passionate kiss? Not quite yet. Extremely irresistible. Kiss passionately. There we go. Sinead Akajan just subscribed. Hello, folks. What gay things are going on? Sinead, your timing is perfect because the, the queen and this new witch who just came into town, Celeste, they are smooching. And the queen is preparing to go declare her love for her in the town square. This is like a dream. I can't stand that the villagers treated this incredible woman like a monster. I will take her with me to town square and show them the truth. Closely pursued by Farsina, Farseer Donna. You good, Farsi or Donna? Yeah, it's a little far. It's a little far to get there, huh? It's a little far to get there, huh? There's an oddly dressed man here, and he's staring daggers directly at my new witch friend. Unacceptable. I will intervene before anything can happen. Zenich, you're set. Oh, it's me, Jealous Warlock Russell. You know me, Jealous Warlock Russell. Uh, Asal? I'm seal, Marine Florek. Zespagrel. I have a very tacky collar. He's here to take my Celeste away. This jackal is who she was hiding from. He's in for a rude shock if he thinks I'm going to give her up. I'm never going to give her up. Never going to let her down. <laughs> Poor thing is terrified. She can barely keep her hands from trembling. I should send her to safety of the castle while I deal with this cur. Get out of here. Get out of here. No one wants you here. Get out of here. <laughs> what black magic is this? Feeling weak. Must get back to the castle. This sim is too important to the quest to be killed right now, but I can send you to the stocks. <laughs> Do so what? <laughs> We're good. It was... I knocked over a water bottle, but it's a-okay. Do so. What do you think about all this? Look who! Wow! Look at all this! I'm only here to help. Mm -hmm. Oh hi! Hello. Gorn, are you okay? I think that we're okay. Thank you, Dusa. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, hi. I'm here. I'm here. She had, she had to go help someone else. It's good, it's good to give a kiss to a Dusa if the Dusa wants it. Where is she? I, I, I need her. Celeste, help me out. I'm not feeling super great. Rafim Oh, thank the Watcher. The curse is lifting. I wasn't sure I would make it. Now, to deal with that warlock. So can we just, like, throw him in the ocean? Is that an option? Since I broke Russell's heart many years ago, he has pursued me across many kingdoms. He is relentless. But I think, with the correct preparation, you could defeat him. But please, I cannot stand to think of you in danger. Well, let's talk about defense against magic. She believes she can distract him with her charms while I use surprise to gain the advantage. But still, his magic... Here is a ring that can protect you from witchcraft when it's properly charged. But to charge it, I need a powerful emotional release. Oh, darn. Oh, oh, darn. How are we going to get that? Celeste, please. Please. Is someone in the way up here? No. What if I just do invite to cuddle first? There we go. There we go. The crown stays on. Apparently so. Well, that's how it works. Oh, now the crown's off, though. I've, I'm sure learning a lot about witchcraft today. I can feel the ring's energies flowing through me now. It is fully charged. I am ready to face our enemy after I do a sleep. I never did figure out where to read the war crimes docket. Oh, maybe it's in my inventory. Is it in my inventory? Yeah. Let's see if I have time to do it. Yes. Good. Uh, I will deal with that after sleeping. She can legitimately perform witchcraft. And there are other lesbians present. So I don't think so. But maybe? Only one? That's not very much. Yeah. A restless sleep quickly devolved into a parade of monstrosities, horrific visions, all slavering over the prone and helpless Lady Lorelei. 
No matter which way she turned, the horrors pressed ever closer. Confront the horrors! Lady Lorelei saw little choice but to challenge the wicked phantasms head on. Swallowing her fear, Lady Lorelei bravely stood before the encroaching apparitions, apparitions and yelled in defiance. As dark claws slashed out at her, Lorelei managed to dance away and countered with renewed vigor and hope. Suddenly, the nightmares began to melt into the shadows. Awed by the display of courage, until nothing stood before the virtuous, victorious dreamer. Deep down, Lorelai knew that she was really still lying asleep somewhere, but no matter. Within the context of the dream, the victory was very real. A polycule is a coven, and a coven is a polycule. And the world... Is a vampire? I'm not sure about that last one. The performance is improving. I might wait till it gets up to gold before continuing the quest because I think we're about to end it and I would like to get a gold performance. can't socialize with yourself while sleeping the servant is not at my location i did shoo at one point but that was just because it was like i want you not in my chambers now invite sim over uh builder Harasser or harasser. Where's my, um, servant? I don't know. It's a mystery. I might have to make my own food. Oh, I should do that. I should do that. Hey, Trader Rosalinda. Um, listen, you rejected my proposal, and that hurt a lot, and I've kind of met this witch, and she's really great. Yeah, you're so happy to come over. And it's gonna go so well, Trader Rosalinda. It says mean. I guess it is a little mean to make break up, but we're cutting that off. Perfect timing. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. The timing could not be better. Thank you for coming in with that song to recognize my breakup. There's my servant. Right away. You're going to get me some food right away. There we go. Well, and then you just get some broom dust in there. Some delicious broom dust in the bear stew. Sure. The bears aren't just mad about all the hunting. They're stewed. Okay. Okay. I guess. We're so close to gold. Let's practice a military strategy. How about a new law? Here's the new law we're going to have. I don't know what that law was, but we, we sure wrote it. The guildsman?
War criminals will get the punishment they so richly deserve. Let this be a lesson, a lesson to all who reside in Shade Coral. Hmm. Oh, this guildsman. Uh -huh. There's more than one guildsman video game. Did you know that? I should have written the other law while I was there, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> He's still in the stocks. Uh, is it challenge to duel? Yeah. <laughs> The beast is a uh, fairly loud. Just this child having this conversation. It's fine. It's normal. He'll smash. This is going to be close. Let's get some stamina back. Bonk. Okay. Things are looking much better for the side of lesbians. I've reached level three. Whirling takedown. Special combat move unlocked. Fighting proficiency slightly increased. Success. He's defeated. Now, what to do with him? Amazing. With all she's been through, this incredible woman has called for mercy. She believes that the man won't return now that I have vested him. Is that the right course? I feel like she is the one who has been most wronged in the circumstance. And that if she is saying, uh, leave him alone, I'm going to trust her judgment. He will be exiled. Your grace is inspiring, Celeste. I will indeed spare his life, but he will be exiled from the kingdom forever. Get out of here, dude. He is gone, and Celeste and I are free to pursue our lives together. Perhaps I should present her with a ring of my own. Just gals being pals. Celeste, my beloved, make me the happiest woman in Shade Coral. Oh, 
There are no beds nearby large enough to woo whom on. Well, I don't have a church, so have marriage here. Hey, poor Lillian, check it out. We're getting married. You're a witness. Oh, no. There is a minor pathfinding error, which means that it didn't happen. Let's try again. Let's go here and try it. We're waiting on something. I'm not sure what. But all the lesbians are gathering around to watch. I don't know what the delay is. Here we go. Oh, and here's an officiator who came from the heavens. Just need to wait for the officiator to have a hole in the schedule. I get it. I get it now. Okay, there's sort of a party going on over there, but I can get this done. Don't worry about it. I'll put the ring on over your armor. Yeah! And they, they got a gift? Yeah! Who could have guessed that a monarch could find love in the chaos of a developing kingdom? At first, some were skeptical of the union, but the kingdom of Shakor was quickly won over by the love of the queen and her new spouse. The only downside was Lorelai's sudden paranoia about dark magic. It seemed that she would take every possible opportunity to recharge her magical ring. You know, can't be too careful. You can't be too careful. You gotta recharge that ring often. Gain the steeled defense combat tone and increase even more of that fighting proficiency. Build a smithy, a market, a king ball court, get a cathedral, a monastery, a watcher pavilion, barracks, spy quarters, meal, Wizard's Tower, Lighthouse. I think we're going to build something and make the Sim who lives there, and I think then we're going to call it, because we're getting close to my wrap-up time, and I think that'll be a good amount of time. And I think it's going to be the Spy. Uh, well-being is neutral. Oh, we should bump up the well-being with something. So we want something that's going to give hearts. Knowledge is neutral. I'm fine with that. Washer Pavilion. Uh, King Ball Court would bump it up by one. Mark it by two. knowledge let's do a m oh what's the mill mill is three and a knowledge let's do that let's place a mill no one lives at the mill so I can't build the sim that lives there okay
Maybe we just start at the next quest then. Maybe we just start it off and see what happens. Oh, that unlocks, it says it unlocks a profession. You know, sometimes I pay attention. And sometimes I don't. Ominous tides. Royal review. Bric-a-brac day. Fur. The fisherman's challenge. Wag the dog. Not going to do a royal assassination. Kingdom was about to be engulfed in a scandal that would destroy diplomatic relations with a neighboring realm. But could the fallout be mitigated by creating the illusion of a greater problem? Bet it could. Oh, oh, should we, should we start the tidings of a war? Or shall we have a royal review? As a loyal and productive member of Shea Coral, a trade person's livelihood was a boon to the people and thus beholden to the bidding of the kingdom. As such, regular royal review was required to garner the sanction of the throne to continue plying a trade. Right, so this is just me building up capacity for it and the quests themselves build up the aspects. Now I remember. Now let's do a blood letters license. I need royal approval to practice my bloody craft. Looking fondly about her orderly clinic, for once not crowded with ailing peasants, the gaze of blood letter Vivian finally settled on a faded missive posted on the wall near the operation table. Eyeing the faint scrawl and crumbling wax seal, Vivian sighed. It was time again to curry royal favor, paying some professional dues, and renew her blood letters license. I am going to save. Because this is a Sims game, and I haven't done that yet in two hours of streaming, which is not ideal. Let's see. Uh, Neil before the throne. How are we doing? Need to eat first. You gotta eat. You gotta have some seed porridge before we go to Neil before the throne. And actually, before that, go ahead and gather your various plants. The monarch is unavailable. Where is she? <sighs> no, but really, where is she? You don't know her, so you can't do that. How is your health, Your Majesty? Lazira. <laughs> The queen is in good health. My queen, would you like to roughhouse? Just normal things. She wanna 
roughhouse test of strength against the queen. That's pretty good. Um, but really, I, I do need I do need you back over there. So maybe now, if I go here, I can invite Sim to location. Yes, I would be happy to stop by my castle. You say it. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Well, why? Are you serious? Are you serious? You, you milky-eyed knave. My most royal lady. I need to renew my license. <laughs> Greetings, blood letter Vivian. I thank you for your visit and appreciate the formality of your request. However... I cannot blindly, blindly, blindly sign my name to your renewed license on courtesies alone. I need to make sure that your clinic is still operating with the typical efficiency that we have come to rely upon. You may see my advisor for the particulars. And we got a level up. We got a level up of physicianing. No, I have cured illnesses from untold peasants and mended the gashes from, of more nobles than I can count. Yet I must now demonstrate my value again to Lady Lorelei in order to renew my license. Hey. Hey, Ambrose, what do I need to do? Ah, oh, blood letter Vivian, I see it's time for the royal review of your practice. This is a simple but necessary formality for the benefit of Shade Coral. Before we can authorize the renewal of your blood letter's license, an audit of the plin an audit of the clinic must be performed. Just go about your regular duties, and I have no doubt this will be a trivial test of your incredible talents. I'll further educate myself in medicine. <laughs> Oriana's like, oh, I'm gonna do that too. Hmm. I'm gonna do this so that I don't have two failed tasks because I don't think I'm gonna have this stuff to make cu two curative rum tonics. That's cleared. Uh, I think 2.42 might be a little too late to go get a drink. When she's this sleepy. Okay. 
10.30, my goodness. Yeah, that's going to fail. That's fine. I don't love it, but it's fine. Seed porridge. Seed the porridge. Pay taxes at the messenger post. Sure. Now, at long last, she'll go get a drink. I have to. Oh no, there's some in here. Uh, get drink. Excuse me, I'm just going to pop in here and research some medicine. That's quite all right. Lil Augustine, Squire Josh, what do you know? Poor Lillian, poor Lillian. My medical archives lack some of the most recent publications in the field of health. This is a great opportunity to catch up on some new reading. Go to the village shoppy. <laughs> Mucus operandi. Food items. We're just going to buy these. It's in the miscellaneous, nothing that I need. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Let's, uh, uh, can I make a we curative tonic? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A villager has ordered a curative tonic for a sick friend. Ah, oh, you're right here. Thanks for being right here, huh. Steve. Circumim Monison. 35 gold for my work. Good price. Not a great price. It was, it was good. It was good. A gig, a gripping, I was about to say a giggling dissertation. A gripping dissertation on the subject of phlegm kept me turning the pages. The author must have done extensive research or written from a wealth of personal experience. Either way, the theories posited in the text have opened both my mind and my sinuses. <laughs> Sc 
scribe's table. Is that not a scribe's table? Do I need to buy a scribe's table? I might need to buy a scribe's table. Sort by function. It is a surface. Well, where's my rotate button? I found my rotate button. It looks real similar to the one over here, but maybe it's different. It sure is. Okay. They both sure look like drafting tables to me, but what do I know? I need to write another medical note. Where is that? Two of them. Where are you? You're heading this way. Okay, while you're heading this way, I'm gonna cook a food. Okay, bud? Okay, bud? Where's my friend? Missing. Never to be seen again. Well, I think that means what we're going to do is we're going to send Vivian to sleep. Honk shoe, honk shoe, as the saying goes. There's no bar related to using the chamber pot, but they do have it. So if that's what you really need, I guess that they have provided for that. And on that note, that's the Sims 3D hole. We'll be back next Wednesday with